Welcome back to my van build. So this week what we're going to be doing is the ceiling. So hopefully I'll get all the batting input up. Um, I'm going to insulate it with 50mm uh, um, polystyrene this time and then cover that with a vapour barrier. And then what I'm going to do is put on some 5.5mm ply because I'm just going to paint that white. Um, in a real high gloss so yeah let's carry on with the ceiling Okay guys, that's the first one up. So I've got one, two, three, four, five more to do. So I'm gonna carry on and getting them up.
Okay guys, I'm going to stop there with the ceiling for a minute to go and cut in all these fans. Um, I've got two fans to put in. Uh, I've also got an extractor for the shower to put in. So before I carry on with the ceiling and insulation, I'm going to go and put that in. Oh yes, and I've also got a Wi-Fi booster, just like a little puck. So I'm going to put that in as well. And then I've also got at some point, think about where I'm going to put the... Uh, the holes for the solar panels so let me go ahead and do that and then we'll carry on with the insulation and the ceiling right guys I've got up on the roof of the van so I'm now about to cut in one of my fans so let's go ahead and mark that out and get that cut in Okay guys, that's the first fan fitted. Uh, it's not a great job, but I'm not too worried, uh, as long as it don't leak, because like I said earlier, uh, the whole van is gonna get resprayed anyway, so I'm not too worried about the state of the roof at the moment. So let's just have a look at this. There you go guys, that's the first one in. So I'll catch up with you in a minute once I've fitted the other one. 
Okay guys, all the holes that I had to cut in the roof are now done, apart from the ones for the uh, solar panels when I get them. But I can do them on a later date. So what I've got now in the roof is, I'll just show you. So I've got an extractor fan there, skylight extractor fan there. I've got my Wi-Fi booster over there. I've got the extractor fan for the bathroom the shower room sorry and I've also got another extractor fan above where the bed area is roughly so that's all the roof holes done so what I'm going to do now is carry on putting the insulation in on the roof and running any wires that are left to run for the extractor fans right guys that's the ceiling done uh, all the insulation done and vapour barriered so let's go ahead and have a look at that there you go, all vapour barriered, ready to put my ceiling up. Okay, there's my uh, vent over the uh, bed, or towards the back, sorry. It's not quite over the bed, but it's towards the back. We've got another one there, up there ready for when I put the shower in. Um, we've also got one at the front here. Uh, and of course, I've also got my wires hanging down here for my Wi-Fi booster. So what I'm going to do now guys is, before we put the ceiling up, I want to go ahead and uh, jerry-rig up all this lighting just to make sure it's all working. Because the last thing I want to do is to put the ceiling up and, <coughs> and the lighting's not working. So I'm just going to go ahead now and uh, rig the lighting up to a battery that I've got down here in the corner. So I will put it all on a fuse. Uh, I'm going to have my switches over this side just as you come in through the door so I'm just going to put a temporary switch in and then hopefully it gives us a bit more lighting in here for when we're doing our recording so I'm just going to go ahead now and sort that out so for the lighting guys I went and bought these uh, tiny little puck lights LEDs so I don't know what they're like we give them a go uh, if they're no good we'll just get some more but we'll give it a go see what they're like So these lights came with some sticky pads, so I'm going to go ahead and stick these on it for now as a temporary thing, uh, because when we put the ceiling up I am going to be screwing them on. So we'll just use these to hold them in place for now. Oh and if you guys have noticed, I'm now wearing overalls. Uh, due to complaint from my wife that I'm showing too much butt crack in the videos. So ovals it is okay guys for the wiring instead of using crimps and soldering and things like that I'm going to be using these little clips these like little connector blocks they're, they're really good kit all you do is you push the wire in there, close this door, and it's done. So if you ever need to change anything, you just open it up, pull the wire out, and change it. I'll leave a link in the description where I got these from. They're good. Get yourself some. Okay guys, I've checked out the lights now, I've got them all wired up, um, all but one is working, so I don't know what's going on with that one, I might have to get a new one for that one, but apart from that, all good, have a look. Yeah. So next thing for me to check is check that the fans are all working, and then we can go ahead and start fitting the ceiling if they're all working, so let's go ahead and check that.
Right guys, I've temporarily wired all that up. All the fans are working and all the lights are working. I've got one light that's not working, so I'll just buy some more because it's always handy to have some spare ones. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend these battenies down a bit. So then I've got a nice gap between the vapour barrier. So there's a nice air gap between it. Then after I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the ply on the roof. So the ply I got is 5.5 mil. So let's go ahead and make a start on that. Right guys, so that's all the battening back up on the roof now. So my next job now is to get the ply up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, that's all the plywood up on the ceiling. Next I've just got to cut out the holes for the air vents and then I'm going to fill the gaps up with some uh, wood filler and sand all that down and then I'm going to paint the ceiling white. So I'm just going to get on now and cut out these holes. Guys, that's all the holes cut now in the ceiling. Uh, next, I'm going to start filling uh, the way all the screw holes are and the joins are with some wood filler, and then I'm going to sand that down. So, I'm going to carry on with that right now.
Right guys, that's all the uh, ceiling all sanded down now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and paint it. So let me just give you a quick look at what I've done to the ceiling. There you go guys, all I've done with the ceiling is I've used 5.5mm ply and I'm now just going to go ahead and give it a coat of paint and then decide what I want to do with it later. Whether I want to carpet it or just leave it painted. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do that now guys, so catch you in a bit. Okay guys, the ceiling has now had its first couple of coats of paint. I'm going to leave that for a couple of weeks to go off and then I'll rub it down uh, just to smooth it off and then give it another coat. I've put the lights in and uh, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look. So yeah guys, once that um, paint's gone off a bit, I'll give it a couple of weeks. I'll rub it down just to flatten it down a bit. Then fill in any defects that I've got on the ceiling. There's a couple of little places that can do with a little bit more filler in it or something. Just to skim it over a little bit. And then I'll give it its final coat. Which hopefully will have a nice gloss to it. So that'll be it for this week's guys. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know